In this segment, we're going to cover the variety of tools that are, exist in Photoshop. While there are many um, tools, we will be able to cover most of them. Um, in general, I just want to let you know that uh, this tool palette here is separated <clears throat> in such a way that our top layer is mostly dealing with selection, cropping, moving objects, and the slice tool, which is mostly used for the web and optimizing graphics. The second set is really about drawing, erasing, painting, blurring, and otherwise affecting uh, color in your image or correcting blemishes um, and filling with color, that, those kinds of aspects. And down here we've got our, our vector objects, which are text, shape, and pen. And lastly, we've got some just sort of general navigation, you know, zooming in, zooming out, moving while you're zoomed in, uh, sampling color, and adding notes for other people to refer to. And that's sort of a general overview uh, of how these are set up. Um, at the top, if you need to go to Adobe, there's a, always a link there that'll bring us right to their website. Um, if you notice any of these tools have a little black dot in the lower right hand corner, that just means if you click and hold for a second, you'll find a lot more other uh, tools hidden, um, as in these examples here. So um, that covers that aspect. And then at the bottom here, um, if we need to set a default color, we just click that once. So we've got a default black and white. One's a uh, foreground, one's a background color. We've got a quick mask mode feature over here and a variety of ways of looking at your um, artwork in the canvas. And these shortcuts here you can also accomplish by hitting F on the keyboard and then F again. So, um, and this would edit with it, uh, brings your document into image ready where you can do more web site related graphics. Um, one thing I should mention too is these palettes, all these tools, um, if you need to reset them, just go to window workspace and then default workspace and it'll look just like when you started the program. Um, in general, you notice, I'm just going to start drawing here. Um, you notice when I switch tools up top here, uh, the tools options also switch. So that's where you're going to find the tools controls up top. And with selection, you're basically just highlighting and you're separating from the rest of the canvas. So if I wanted to erase this, I would get a sharp edge. And with selection, you can also have, you have a variety of different means of selection. Um, it's really crucial in Photoshop to get these selection tools, uh, get some practice with them because of the way that you're going to be dealing with the program and enhancing your photographs. So this one's just a freeform lasso tool. Um, it can select and then deselect by clicking once outside of it. Uh, this here, we've got uh, basically it snaps to different points. And the last one, which is one of my favorites, is the magnetic lasso tool, which if you click in a, if you just click once and let go, it'll actually trace your object as you move over it because it's magnetic. And that has its own settings for tolerance and contrast and frequency. Usually by default, those are just fine. We've also got the magic wand, which selects like colors. And that tolerance can be changed, um, can be brought down if it's selecting too much. And we've also got our crop tool, which you can crop our canvas just by saying draw a box and hit the check mark. And that's a brief overview of the tools.